And we know Caribbean waters are about two and a half degrees Fahrenheit warmer than normal. How does that um, impact the strength of these storms and the fact that we're sort of, as of late, seeing a relatively new phenomenon, and that is such slow moving storms that allow for such a, a huge drop of rain and flooding. Right, so two separate things we need to talk about here. First and foremost, the most obvious, uh, 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 the, the planetary heating, the global warming we've seen over the last several decades. Uh, this is uh, man-made, as we all know, due to the injection of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. That heating of the planetary system has been greatly absorbed by the oceans. The oceans have kept the atmosphere cooler than it otherwise would have been. But in the process, the oceans are heating up. And it's not just the surface of the ocean where we're seeing, seeing those hotter sea surface temperatures. It's the depth of, of the warm water. It, it's the ocean heat content well below the surface of uh, 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 the oceans and the seas that is allowing for these hurricanes to, yes, as you described, sit in one place and not up well enough cold water to knock down their strength. So this particular hurricane, Melissa, meandered, right? It took a long time uh, to get past the South Central Caribbean Sea to the water south of Jamaica, basically a week, okay, it's taken to get to this point. And despite that, it continues to feed off of incredibly warm waters. That figure that you mentioned, one and a, one and a half degrees Celsius, uh, approximately hotter than normal, that figure is made six to 700 times more likely, uh, based on attribution studies, due to man-made climate change. So we've changed the physics and the thermodynamics of how these hurricanes work. There are speed limits in terms of what the uh, highest wind speed can possibly be, uh, is changing, is increasing. And, and there you have it. We have a hurricane making landfall with maximum sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. The last one to do that was Hurricane Dorian in 2019 when it hit the Northwest Bahamas. And by pressure, I want to repeat once more, by barometric pressure, it is the strongest landfalling hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin, tying the Great Labor Day hurricane of 1935. You're um, dealing with a number of challenges here, trying to cover and understand and explain um, uh, new phenomena and, and more, more and more powerful storms that, than you ever have. Each year seems to be um, setting a new record. At the same time, given that we rely and so many uh, citizens and viewers rely a lot on social media, the phenomena of misinformation and disinformation is also another factor weighing in on people's decisions as to how to respond to these storms and prepare for them. How do you combat that? Well, I mean, uh, I wrote about this in the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, uh, uh, which, which, by the way, looks at, at, at the threats to humanity, not just nuclear pro proliferation, which it was founded for doing that, but now these days, it includes climate change as a threat to humanity. Uh, the, the, the title of the article is The Role of the Scientist in the Post-Truth World, because that's where we're at right now. This is a post-truth world, sadly, where facts are mixed with all the other stuff that's out there, because everybody has a bullhorn and the, the expertise is no longer looked at as the sole source, as the trustworthy source of, of information. How do we deal with that? Listen, we can't throw textbooks at people's heads. Uh, we have to meet people where they're at, uh, and try to relate to them as much as possible. If, if they only care about themselves and their families, okay, well, then let's talk about how these changes that we're observing, the increase in temperatures, the increase in yeah. extreme weather events uh, is impacting each and one of those families and how it's impacting them. And I think people will react to that.